Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas. I am the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. Mm. The delicious metal. It is what I crave. It's what I need. Funny, I taste metal. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. It is a Friday episode, and we are playing Atlas today. There's 656 metal. We got another one right over here. It should have just about the same amount on it. Oh, not quite, but not too shabby at the same time. There's our wonderful music that tells us it's uh, it's about noon time, people. It's about noon time. Uh, that takes care of this area. This area usually has quite a few nodes in it, but I think I've kind of uh, taken all of them at the time for the time being, anyways. Uh, but there's there's other metal on the island. I just have to track it down. Mm-hmm tracking it I uh, don't think it's back in here though no okay um, anyways I'm getting more metal so we can work some more on uh, our big girls uh, establishment their their stalls for them uh, ivory's been out already once today to go get stone Rawr. go get him go get him Kodiak Nice. A little bit of meat. A little bit of meat and tsunami. She hasn't been out for a hunt in a little bit. She's getting hungry. Uh, but it's it, it's very pleasant to be here roaming about the island. I don't mind doing this at all. And I'm looking to see if maybe, just maybe, there's more that I've never found here. Because, you know, these islands are big. This one's not huge, but it's big. It's sizable. What is this plant right here? Wild chickpeas, okay. We got the wild chickpeas. I need to pick a spot at the Jaded Alcove to put down some planter beds because I don't have planter beds uh, other than the two sitting on the port right now and they need to move. Those guys need to go someplace else and I've been trying to think to myself, okay, where am I going to put them? And I've come up with some ideas in my head throughout the day today, thinking about just what it is I'm going to do to kind of expand that. Scorpion! Kodiak, just stay back. Stay back. Take it easy. Very aggressive. Uh, I'm super hot. Oh, this is where I was the other day when I died. I got out here and I got so hot that I died. Uh, I need to watch that. Yeah, I'm getting hot right now. Uh, yeah, and there's no easy way to get to the water either. It's all kind of down off a cliffside. And I know I've got my grapple hook, and I could use my grapple hook, but I would prefer if I did not have to use the grapple hook. For some reason, on this side of the island, it gets really hot during the day. Really hot. And as I get closer to where we're at set up, uh, it, it... He should have that ant no time. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, if I don't get back to where it's cooler, I'm going to be in some trouble and uh, I will die. Last time I died, I had a uh, health pack on me, but it wasn't enough to save me. No, it was not. And without a monkey on my back, it's even a bigger problem. There he is. He's right behind me. Okay. So, I've got a little bit of metal. That should be enough, actually, to get me the walls I need. Wild male tiger. Level 3 wild male tiger. Not the most exciting thing in the world. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to take damage now. So I was on the back of... Uh, who was I riding at the time? I think I was riding... Um, uh, Lucy. I was out here with her. And that's when uh, I, I wound up dying from the heat. Ah, see, right there. Boom. We're not overheating anymore. Uh, and thank you for letting me know that I missaid the ostrich information. The ostrich lowers the temperature uh, around you. Does not give you a uh, fortitude buff. So, yeah, the ostrich is to lower the temperature around you. I've got a little bit of metal. Let's, um, let's take a quick jaunt right out here towards the tiki. I was just there a little bit ago, but I want to see if maybe, just maybe, uh, 
some stuff has grown in here. Some some metals come back. It's tricky getting through here with Kodiak because of the cart, but he's he's set to follow me really close. So I think he'll be okay. What do we got here? What kind of monkey we got here? Level 10 monkey. Not too bad. He's not great, though. It's not like he's a super monkey or anything like that, but... So I took Ivory out, and she's got this really neat little thing she can do when she starts charging. And that is, she gets this little charge up going on, and uh, she becomes pretty, um, pretty dangerous with that. She can go right through stone and trees and everything, and then when you run into a creature and you you hit the button, boy, she just rips it apart. <laughs> she sends it flying through the air. I'll have to take her out and show you guys sometime. Uh, we should be done here in just a second. I'm just kind of curious if I can get another monkey here. There we go. Uh, what are you? Are you male or female? Monkey level 14. Um, what are you? Why are you still walking away from me? It's a male. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Hello. Come here. What are you doing? Why are you walking away? You don't know? All right. Well, let's get the monkey back. Uh, yeah, let's get the monkey back to base. We should do that first. What are we going to call a little tiny monkey like that? Uh, maybe we should just call him Squatter, right? I mean, we're, we're we've been kind of fond of Squatter. There we go. This is working out okay right here too. Walking up to here and having Kodiak just kind of ride right up here. Oh, 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 oh! It's all going wrong. No, no, it's it's okay, okay, okay. Everybody, everybody, stop running around. <laughs> I forgot I had uh, Tsunami set to follow me. Uh, sometimes I get off their backs, you know, and I'm walking and picking up stuff instead of riding. And uh, it looks to me like I may have forgotten to... Now, why are you Why are you trying to... Just, just stop, Kodiak. Okay, Sarge, I'm going to put you right up here. Our little monkey friend should be coming any second now. There you are. Hi, buddy. There you go. You should be healing me up a little bit. Uh, the cart is definitely where I can get to it. <laughs> oh, man. I tell you. I'm having a good time. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the series has definitely started to tank. People are not watching uh, Atlas like they were. I don't know if it's because... Um, I'm moving really slow, and they want to see more different kinds of things, which, of course, I mentioned at the beginning of the series, that that's not going to be the case for me. I'm not really about the end game kind of guy. I just want to see if this is the world I enjoy being in, and if it's got some nice building, and obviously it's got some nice building because I've had a lot of fun with the building. Uh, so that's not it, but it has taken kind of a hit, you know, from 2,000 per episode down to about five or 600 per episode. So it's a bit of a hit, but I guess I'm okay with it because I still enjoy the game. You know, I do. Let's grab all of that. It, it just kind of... You know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So, we'll keep going. And we'll try to get uh, we'll try to get into the series a little bit more here and see how things go. Plus, the, the updates aren't coming very much. And I think some people get pretty upset when they lose their stuff. You know? When they lose all their stuff. What am I missing now in here? Is it wood? I bet it's wood. Yeah, the wood is going to be the issue, so I'm going to have to take Lucy out today, too. But we've got enough walls to get kind of going here on something. But we'll keep rolling right along here and see how things go. I just want you guys to know that I'm aware of it and I see it, but dang it, I like playing Atlas. I really do. So, I don't know what to do. Okay, all right. So enough of that. Enough of that. Just, just don't worry about it right now. Just don't worry about it. And know that if we, if we do switch to a different series on something, and and walk away from Atlas for a little bit, it's not going to be forever. It's not going to be forever. Um, 
I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to come down the wall here because I want to do... What are you? You're level three male parrot. You're nothing. I've got doors right here. I want these to be sectioned off a little bit, but I want to be able to see all the way through here too. So I put a little chest out here to put some of our building materials in. Oh, I've got another 11 of these guys right here. So, okay, I've got half of that, and five, ten. Let's grab 15 of these guys, too. There we go. So, if I were to do a half wall along here, and then a wood rail. It's going to take a little more material, but I think I'm okay with that. If I do something like this right here, like that... And then I do a wood rail here. I'll be able to see into Ivory's area. Flipping all those around. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Hello. She was quite a helper. I was uh, getting the wall kind of organized behind her here so that we could uh, move forward today. And uh, she was quite helpful. Let's go with number five next, and let's go down to this here, and we'll turn these around. So that curve is on the inside, not the outside. Well, crap. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> The reason I'm filling these in is I just don't see a good way to get around uh, not filling them in. You would do that to me, wouldn't you? You know, it's weird how I can build with nobody watching me, and I do just fine. And then as soon as I get back on and I'm recording, then it goes, it goes awry. Come on now. But hey. Oh, you know what it is. I know what this is. Oh, uh, nope. Oh, I had it. I switched these all around so I don't have to do that again. Yes, I do have to do it again. Okay, that parrot needs to go away. There we go. Yeah, I turned them all one way, so now I gotta turn them back the other way. Oh my god, you got a level? Fantastico. Um, stamina, melee. I just hate the fact that they really don't get a whole lot in anything. Uh, I'm just putting it all on health for Kodiak, just so he can take a hit. That's what I'm doing with Kodiak right now. So I need more of those stone walls. Did I leave them in here? I did. Okay. I want to try to get this area figured out today all the way up to the top. You can see I've got the back on now, and I've got doors, and I've got the, the uh, walkway put in just kind of behind where this building's going to be. That way we can work on it uh, and get it hopefully taken care of today. We're going to do like so. That's going to be incorrect anyway, so I don't know why I'm continuing on with that. We need to come back in here. Can I get through here? Because she let me out this way. Okay, I can. I've not really been able to walk through there. I wonder if they changed that. I don't know if you guys noticed. I was just thinking about this before I got on today. That, you know, the bull and the bull and the cows in the pen, they're set to, uh, to roam. And so, therefore, they should be, you know, able to make babies if they made one and are set to wander I should say and that's not happening because it says the biome is not friendly to that and I just think that it's just such a, a weird thing for them to do is to uh, make it so the animals have to only they can only they can only breed in certain areas that's it and then you've got to uh, so I would have to actually take the bull and the cow someplace else because I don't know if you guys noticed this but when they're next to each other here uh, where does it say that yeah undesirable undesirable biome for mating so basically we have to take these cattle someplace else we would be able to breed them have babies and then we would have to transport them back here well Who's got time for that? <laughs> I mean, that is a lot of nonsense to me. Uh, what are we doing here? Just things like that, that they, they're making some changes in the game. It makes me go, really? That's, that's, your, that's the idea for your change, huh? Did I go through all the walls we made already? Golly, really? 
Alright, I guess I did. Anyways, how do you guys feel about that? Do you think that's do you think that's a, a fair thing? It, it, does that does that seem like the right thing to do? You're telling me that there's bulls and cows on this island, but they didn't breed? What, somebody just pulled up, dropped them off, and left them here? Now, I know how that's how some animals got on our planet in real life, but they eventually breed. As Jeff Goldblum says in Jurassic Park, nature finds a way. Sip my coffee. I just think some of these things that they're doing might get to be a little too extreme. They have already have a game that I consider to be a very long-term uh, game. Uh, that's what I mentioned as well when we first started this series, that this is a game that I kind of felt like I was just going to be in here for a while. It reminded me of one of my favorite games of all time, and that is Skyrim. And, <laughs> excuse me, uh, I'm not in a hurry to be done with it, but at the same time, there is no way I am taking animals to a different island in a different biome. Like, these guys, for the cattle, I would imagine, and this is just me imagining, I don't know if it's the case, some of you may know, I feel like the only way to get them to breed is to actually take them up into, like, uh, L5, L4, you know, that higher region that we lived in so much last season, way up in there, and then they would be able to breed. But then I'd have to transport them all the way back here, and it just seems like a, a real pain in the butt. Uh, I needed wood, didn't I? That's what I needed. I needed wood. Okay, so... Oh, there's not one thing. It's another, people. That's okay. This is called the grind. We're okay with the grind. Uh, okay, so I've got I've got enough metal. We could do some damage with this. We don't need a whole lot of stone walls left, but I am going to have to take Lucy out and get some more wood. Uh, because we're going to need it anyways because we're going to need wood walls in order to get this thing shored up. You can see it has to be a very tall building uh, in order to get Madeline in comfortably. I don't want to have to walk her through a wall or anything else. Last season, we were walking the giraffe through the base, and at one point in time, it got very stuck. Uh, so we want to make sure we have plenty of headroom for everybody. The reason Ivory is in nose first is because, well, I, I took her out, and she was out and about uh, being uh, being herself. Come here, Lucy. That a girl. Look at you come over here. Oh, man, she's just a genius. Now, will she actually walk out this door with me? Ah, she's going to do it. Beautiful. All right, so let me grab some wood. It's raining. Watch out for cyclones. You never know where they're going to be. They're just like that. And then I'll come back, and we will resume working on the plus size, girl, plus size girl's place. F2, please. There we go. You can do it, Lucy. You can get through that door. Come on. Come on. You got it. What a master. What a pro. What a boss. What a champ. I love her. Level 78. Just a sweet homegrown elephant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Door's closed. All right. Uh, I've got materials. That's for sure. Now I need to get her over here so I can drop this wood off. You know, I think I actually had a load of wood on her when I first took her out. And that's why she loaded up so fast. I think. Let's see if I can get Lucy to come right over here and stand just nicely so I can unload the wood off of her back. Boy, she's big. I love it. There you go, darling. There we go. Right on the tusk. Gotta love that. And we do this. And then we should be able to do this, and a little bit of this, and then, oh, look at that, 79 of them. Okay, so I'm going to make 45, and that should be pretty handy. Oh, I just love having my pets. That's, that's, that right there is one of the reasons I love Atlas too. is their animal models are really nice, and I do enjoy um, having my pets. I think it's a lot of fun. It is a whole lot of fun, actually. And the fact that each one of them has a job, like an arc, you know. You just... You just gotta love it. You just gotta love it. Uh, let's drop you right over here. Oh, there you go. And let's go ahead and name him Squatter. Uh, options. Change name. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm not gonna name him Squatter 1, Squatter 2, Squatter 3. I'm not gonna do that. We'll just name him Squatter. I've, I've gotten used to calling our monkey Squatter, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it like that. If it's a female, we'll stick with, probably with Jenny. Uh, okay, so I made some walls. I should be able to put those back on Lucy and have her take those out there for me, unless I can carry 45 on my own. 
which I cannot. And I could drop those back on you. There you are. Beautiful. Sheer perfection. Okay, I'll come back. I'm going to wait till the weather's better and the sun's out and we can work together on this. I need to work on getting some food in my system too, so uh, I'll come back after that, after this is all over with here. So although my kids are grown and gone, <laughs> there's never a dull moment in my house. Variety of the night um, after I'd gone to bed, I go to bed quite a bit earlier than she does because, you know, I work such early weird hours. And uh, she went into our bathroom and there was a wolf spider in there. If you don't know what a wolf spider is, they're pretty big. They look a lot bigger than they are because their legs are super long, but they are quite aggressive. And if they feel threatened at all, they will lunge at you. <laughs> so... Um, I'm out getting uh, resources, of course. Uh, she, uh, she's called an exterminator. So he just showed up about an hour early to uh, take care of the house. <laughs> okay, I got them following each other. There we go. Let's have you stop doing that. I got her filled up with some thatch and a little bit of wood. And I've got uh, him with some fiber. I figured I could do some of the, the construction of the materials we need right here. We're, we're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting there. I think I've got the back wall wrong, though. Which was kind of uh, a bit of a bummer for me. The white side is pointing in. And it should be pointing out, if I'm not mistaken, right here. This wall right there should be the brown on the inside white on the inside outside and then of course our other side is going to be up on the walkway itself if i think if i get up on lucy i can show you what i'm talking about up, up you go there we go and e there we go and up here uh this is incorrect this should be this wall is actually going to come out here and what i'll do is i'll put uh, a walkway through here so that when you come uh, up on the wall you're on top of the wall you could walk all the way through the back of this building here and get out but I have screwed this up and put everything up here. So I'm going to have to take this wall down. Is that going to hook? It is. Okay. I'm going to have to take this wall down and redo it so it's correct. Because right now it is not correct. And it's going to take me a little while to do that alone. Uh, but that's okay. No big deal. It's uh, just a little bit of time. So let me get this taken down. Get it reorganized. I just didn't think far enough ahead on this one. And voila. Here we have our problem. And I'm not going to break this wall down here. And have all this come crumbling down on me. Because I'd just be wasting a bunch of resources. So I don't want to do that. I should be actually. There we go. And up a little bit higher. And up here. And is this the right wall? It is not. That's okay. And also, I'll take this down. I just wanted to share that with you, the guy, because he showed up. He says, "Oh, I'm sorry, a little early." I said, "Oh, no, that's fine. That's okay." But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was quite a mo quite a night for Variety. And then what happened was she she lost track of it <laughs> while she was trying to kill it. And Wasabi found it, and she tortured it to death. And by the time I woke up the next morning, uh, that bug was uh, that spider was like, "Please put me out of my misery. I can't take any more." <laughs> that's just how she is. But it's that time of the year for us where the Black Widows are really starting to come out and stuff like that. So, you know, and the neighbor kids come over and we have them over and we watch them and everything every now and again. And you just can't have them roaming around. The one child is four, so you just never know what they're going to do. He doesn't like spiders, but he doesn't want to be. So, you know, he's taking care of it. He's going to take care of all the bugs. I don't normally spray for bugs. I kind of just let them be but uh, I'm not in charge <laughs> I am not in charge I'll be back so right now I'm overheating let's see what happens when I get on our wonderful ostrich here aha you see the little flame down there shows that the temperature has dropped so if I hit E I'm super hot but if I jump back on voila look at this I'm going to put in melee damage, expecting it to hopefully help me out when it's super hot like this. Instead of having to jump in the water, it looks to me like I could just jump right on her back. Yeah. And by the getting on her, she actually gets rid of the heat altogether. Uh, that's pretty nice. I can't do much because I need to be cooler, but uh, this, is pretty, this is pretty awesome. Now, if I pick up Squatter... I was mistaken. I do get both buffs. So he's going to give me something in Fortitude which does not stop the heat, uh, but uh, without Squatter on my shoulder, if I go in my inventory, I have 10 Fortitude. Picking him up, 
now I have 15 fortitude. I, oh, I, oh, I don't have my bi vitamin buff. With my vitamin buff, I'm usually up around 40. But I get on here, and now I'm doing just fine. Uh, I'm still working on getting the wall fi figured out. I just went and ate, and as you can see, if I get some place where you can actually see my food, I get my food way up, I hit the delete key and yell and uh, get that filled back up again. I do need to refill my water. So I can do that right now. Boop. And a tea. And a tea. And a voila. Oh, hello. Yes, indeed. So yeah, I was just filling up my food, and I'll be back to work here in just a second. I know, I know. There's all kinds of great distractions in Atlas. Just great distractions. So we have a little bit of everything going on right now. A heat wave. Rain. I'm glad the rain's here, because it pretty much all the heat wave just ended, it looks like. We had a little bit of everything going on. This is not exactly taking on the shape I had in mind at the beginning, but it's going to work just fine the way it is because it is... Ooh, watch it, watch it, watch it, sweetheart. It's going to work. Uh, we've got a little bit of a flat roof going on here just because Lucy's so big, and Madeline's, you know, much taller, but we've got space for her in there. So, of course, I've got to fix up some of this and how it looks. But there will be enough room for me to get on Lucy and get off Lucy without actually getting myself trapped into the ceiling here, which is which was my main goal, of course. I don't want to have that happening. So if I do this right here, that should seal this up just nicely. Uh, hit Q. There we go. And then I think I can hit Q right here, too. And that should finish up Lucy's stall. So she's in and out of the rain right now, which is great. So we'll do that right there for her, and it's a, it's, it's a flat roof. It's not as much angle as I wanted on here. I wanted this to actually start there and angle down, but in order to do that, I've got to make this one so much taller, and it just does not have to be that tall for Madeline to go into. You know, she could pull in there just fine uh, at the height it is, and that's what, kind of what we decided. And now she's got room for her head and everything else, so... I mean, she fits in there really well. Now, for Ivory, it shouldn't be too difficult to finish up her pen either. Because we're pretty much where we need to be. Is this going to be symmetrical? No. And I never thought it would be. Uh, I just kind of thought we'd, uh, you know, we'd go around and do what we could do to, to, to pull it together and make it look right. Uh, there's probably something, a little something I could do up here to make that look like it's not quite so flat there. Maybe uh, ramps up on the corners here to give it a little more, a little more shape. Do I have what I need to do that? I think I do. What do you have on you? I need to. I've got stuff right now on all of the animals. <laughs> Just a little bit of everything on all of them. And I'm gonna need. Well, I could leave those. Actually, let's put these as I'm getting a little bit organized here. Once this rainstorm's over, it should be a pretty nice day. And what do I have on you, Madeline? I've got a bunch of thatch. Okay, so let's get this off of her. We have a few more ceilings as well, which is good. And we're going to drop those into there. Walls. Okay, I need walls. Kodiak, do you have any more wood on you? I don't know that he does. Uh, we're shy on the wood front here. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw all this in here. I think if I keep everything just kind of in here, this would probably be the best bet here to do. Let's grab all that stuff off of him. Throw that into here as well. And we need more wood. All right, so let's get some wood real fast, and then we should be able to kind of iron out a little bit more of this building here. I, I've made... A bunch of mistakes on here just a bunch of mistakes but you know what do you do I was thinking it was gonna go one way and then it went a different direction altogether so that's okay that's what I love about the building is it's like a puzzle I get started on something I don't do any measuring and then I've got to just kind of be creative with how I put it together and you know it just kind of comes together that's the way I like to build so there we go but yeah we've got those two all sealed up now, in terms of um, Ivory here, she's pretty much set. I'm 
I'm tempted to do the same thing I did on the other side and actually make it look that way because I've got the white wall showing up there. We were talking about comments for Conan Exiles is that it'd be nice if there was just a plain wall. Either a wall that's both sides white or both sides of the kind of the dark and dirtier brown color, but it'd be nice if there was something for both of them. I think I'm going to have to pull Ivory out of here and bring Lucy in, or bring Madeline into here so I can actually use her to build with. This is only a two wide stall. Uh, Ivory didn't need as much room as uh, Lucy did, if you remember. There you go, there you go, darling. That's it, that's it. And you're out of the way. There you go. Beautiful. And that rain is going to stop. Marvelous. Uh, let's see. How are we doing here? Okay, so Madeline, I need you to come out. She's been pretty helpful with the building, as has Lucy, because they're just nice and tall, and you get right up, right up in the face of stuff that you've got to build. Okay, so if I'm going to do the same thing I did over there, it is going to be... six yes this is a regular wall and then this is going to be the angled wall over here like so and then this one actually goes up to here yeah that comes down and then we go across and we meet up with this side over here it's been a little tricky for me a little bit tricky let's grab some more walls do I have any made don't. Let's grab some of this other lower level stuff here. The generic stuff. Perfect. Looks like I'm going to need more roof pieces as well. I may have to go out for another run today to get some more, some more uh, materials. Hmm. It's amazing. You think you have enough and then you don't. <laughs> it's just you don't. You don't have enough. How far down can I reach with that? Uh, Q. There you go. In you go. And yes, this one's going to have to go down that way as well. I don't know that I need to seal that off just yet, but let's get Madeline in here. Madeline does not fit in here. Look at that. She does not fit in a two wide. Oh God, I hope Ivory will fit back in there. Yeah, I've pulled her in there a couple of times with the walls up, so she should be fine. Uh, okay, so I need to find a way to get up onto this thing. And I think if I go number five and I bring this up to here, I should be able to climb right up the wall here. Do a little hop up. Maybe just up onto the roof would be a better idea. I've done a lot of climbing. I wore out my grappling hook building. What the heck? Why can't I get up there? Come on now. There should be no reason why I can't be up on this rooftop. None whatsoever. There we go. Okay, so I gotta, I've got to fix that up. Uh, number six. Oh, God. Oh, well, now I've done it. Oh, there's doors here. That's right. Thank God. Uh, huh. Okay. And I need some over here, too. Like so. Like that. And yes, you go there and you go there. Angle wall, angle. Okay. Do I have more ceilings? I think I've got quite a few ceilings, as a matter of fact. I've got 23 of them. We are going to need more walls. Let's grab a little bit more wood off of the cart. And get those going again. Uh, missing the fiber. And it's back over here now, because I threw it all over here. It's a big structure. I think it looks pretty good. It's not fantastic, but I think it looks pretty good. It definitely serves its purpose. Uh, what am I going to be missing? I'm going to be missing wood. I know. It's like the most unorganized building in ever. I don't suppose I could ride you over to here, could I? You're a little bit faster than I am. A little bit faster. 
Why don't I have the wood in the box? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just enjoying myself. Winding down from the week. Hope you guys had a good week. Uh, mine was pretty busy. They're going to be busy from, from now on. At least for a little while they're going to be busy. Hopefully... That reduces my weight enough if I can move about. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, this gate's going to have to go back. Don't forget, anything is anything is available for us to move. We can move anything we want to. We have, we have that ability. It's our game. We get to do what we want. Okay, so I need to get back up uh, on top in order to do this. Sarge is having a good time. <laughs> He's just... I think he wonders what the heck I'm doing, too, sometimes. What are you doing? Uh, number five. There we go. It didn't uh, release me that time. A little unusual, but it didn't. Uh, number seven. Let's throw that in there. Oh! Ah! I don't know where I placed that. I don't know what I did. Let's see. Can I reach this from down here? Golly, man. It is just... It is tough building up here. Yeah, I need to. Uh, I need to get this roof put on. Okay. Do I have roof pieces? Sorry about this, guys. I'm a little dis uh, disorganized here right now, which is probably nothing unusual. I thought I had more roofs ready to go. I don't though. All right. So let's grab him. Let's pull him over here. I thought I had roofs. I don't. I guess I used them all. You don't have any on you. Okay. We're going to grab all this wood off of you. And we're going to throw this over here. We're going to grab this. And we're going to grab this. And we're going to make... Uh, let's make 12 of those. And I have 26 walls and 21 of those guys on me. So we should be good to go there. I hope. If I can get that first slanted roof on, I should be able to move forward with uh, everything else we need to do. So I need to go that and that. And I th think maybe now I can move? Yeah, I can move. Okay, good. Let's try this one more time. I think I got a plan now. I'm going to try to throw that a little further in the back. And of course it didn't. It landed right on the edge because it can't see where it's going. No, 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 come on. I know, it's not as easy as it looks, is it? Okay, this is going to make me do the same dang thing. It's going to knock me right off of here. I don't know why it's not letting me... There we go, there we go. Okay, beautiful. I think this is because I've got a half wall in between here instead of a full wall. Okay, so we're going to go like so, and I need you. Right there. There we go, and I need you, 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 and you. Okay, and I need one more right there. <gasps> Don't fall off of here. God, he just he just wants to slide right off of here. Well, now you just decided to turn around. I've not been able to get these guys to go the direction I want them to go uh, at all over here, it seems like. I'm just trying to watch those lines. Like that, and then I'm going to be going down this way with these guys here. There we go. It takes me a couple of tries, but I get it. Inventory. And then I need you guys back. Number six. I hope we get an update soon so we can see just what their plans are for the game. I'm very curious myself. And we've not seen an update for a little bit, but then again, we don't know exactly what they're, what's going on in their world with, with what's going on in the world in general. It's been, well, it's just been a very strange, strange year. Uh, no one, nobody can argue that one. 
Okay, we're going to do that right there, and then I need another ceiling right there, and one over top of Lucy, and that should wrap up the rooftop, I believe. Okay, I need another wall in here. Let's see if we can get this to fit. Okay, it doesn't want to go either way now. Okay, I need to go all the way down again, and I think if I hit Q... There we go, beautiful. Okay, it's the white on the inside. There we go. I could doctor all this stuff up later. Right now, I want to get just a structure that's going to be set up so you guys can see what it looks like. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. We got the doors up there so you can go through and actually stay up on the wall. Uh, Ivory, will you fit in here? Oh, she is she is not the fastest animal in the world. None of the animals really are, you know? Unless you're running. They, they just, they don't walk very fast. But then when you're this big, how fast would you walk, right? Okay, she's going to squeak right on in here just fine and dandy. Look at that. Perfect, perfect. Now, here's, here's the thing. Am I going to be able to get off of her without getting stuck up against the wall? Looks like I will be able to. All right, Ivory is in her uh, little place there. Very good. Madeline, just, just how tight on your head is this place? I can actually bring her in here and turn her around unless there is an ostrich standing at her feet. I could bring her in here and actually turn her completely around like that and get her in here just nicely. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, she does fill that whole space, doesn't she? I don't know that there's going to be much I can do to try to, you know, make that roof look like it's a little bit thicker than it is without actually, you know, cutting into her head. I don't want to do that. I do not want to do that. And Lucy, you've got your spot here. Uh, do I still have more ceilings on me? I don't. Uh, where do, do, do I have more here? I do. I've got ten. All right, that should be good there. And then let's grab this. And let's... Uh, I probably need more thatch. And I probably need more fiber. And then I can make, uh, no, I want these guys down here. I'll make five more of those guys right there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, well, I'm going to need more than that, but let's let's see what we've got going on here. Okay, I'm about to, my grappling hook is about to break again, it looks like. Oh, dang it. It needs to hook on faster than that. Further in. Okay, number five. Uh, I got this roof piece taken care of. Oh, I got pieces of this going the wrong way, too. Doggone it. That's what happens when you put them on on the inside if you're not paying attention to the arrows. You screw it up like I do. Like so. Okay. Very good, very good. And we might as well repair these as well. That one out. That one. And that one right there. All right, number seven. Yeah, I haven't been able to get those planks to sit, sit that direction at all. They all want to go this direction here. Okay, I th think we have that worked out. How's this looking in here now? I'm tempted to just run ceiling along here like so. Just just to run. This way, it doesn't really matter. We're not going to see them. 
I know this sits really close to my head, but it's going to cover up a lot of the, you know, just the stuff we don't need to see anymore up in here. It's just, that's all void. It doesn't need to be seen. This is simply to get through to the other side of the wall here, which is what we can do. All right, beautiful. So I can finish that up on my own. Now, the other thing I was thinking about doing here is... Let's see how this is going to look. Uh, and T. I want to do a ramp there and a ramp there like that. And I'm going to do those all the way back. And that's going to give this a little bit more pizzazz. <laughs> the pizzazz is what I'm looking for. The pizzazz. Yeah, something like that right there. And then can I get oh, can I get this guy to go in there right now? Probably not because I'm not high enough up. But if I cover those up, if I cover those corners up, that should look pretty nice. Yeah. All right, let's see. Do we have enough stuff to make it? What do I need? I need one, two, three, four. That's eight. I need 15 of them, 15 ceilings. There's 17 of those. And I've got the walls on me, so I don't have to worry about that. We should be able to do this. So if I take Madeline back out, I should be able to finish this building up. Okay. Let's jump on Madeline again. We need her so we can reach up high. Especially to get these walls in. There we go. Just like that. Oh, that is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's get on uh, Lucy here. We can do this over here. And we need to give that a T. Oh, man. Have I finished talking about the game and, and kind of where I'm at with it and where I hope it's going and stuff? I know we've been kind of focused on that lately, and I think it's because, you know, partially because the views have gone dropped off and people have left the game because they've gone on to other games and stuff like that, and there's not been any... You know, they've got this this road plan they're doing, and uh, I'm, I'm eager to see that, that come to fruition and, and happen. Again, though, we don't know exactly what's going on in all their worlds, right? I mean, have they lost loved ones during this? And, you know, is there, it, 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 it just, you, you never know. You just never know what's going on uh, in somebody else's life. And so I think we have to be understanding of that for sure. Metal, there you go. Give me a little turn, sweetheart. Perfect. Oh, man, she is just so eager to please, I tell you. I just love Madeline. That's just beautiful. Okay, that's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for right there. All right, let's get her back in her pen. There we go. A little bit of a turn, Madeline. Hang on to the side right here. And give me a spin around here. There we go. You could do it. You could do it. And back you up. Bada boom. Bada boom. There's a nice shot of her butt, ladies and gentlemen. Madeline's rear end. And Lucy's rear end. That's better. I like this better now. It gives this a little something to it. I didn't want the roof to come to a pitch up here and then have a valley in between these two, this roof and then this roof here. I wanted it to stagger down like it's doing. So I feel like this is good. I feel like we've, we've, I've, I've done what I wanted to do. Now, each one of these is going to need some kind of light inside. So I think what I'm going to do is probably use um, the Eco Mod. And if for some reason that ever fails, the Eco Mod, then what I'll do is I will, uh, you know, at least be able to go just come back with the lanterns and put them in. And that should work out just fine. Oh boy, they are just not the fastest animals in the world, are they? Again, it's huge. Why would it be? Get back her up all the way to the wall. And then some, a little bit more. I could probably bring her forward just a little bit. Get her straightened out. There we go. And voila! There we are. We have it established. 
I want to see where the game's going. I still think it's a very good game. It's time consuming, but if you're in a game for a long haul and you enjoy it and it and it brings you enjoyment and relaxation like it does for me, then I think it's worth it. I think it's absolutely worth worth it. Uh, if for some reason I were to lose my world and it were to be destroyed because of a bug or something, I would not come back to it right away. I would stay away from it for a little bit until I saw that things were going to change. Right now we've lost a couple of tames and a few things have disappeared off one of my ships. I can live with that, I guess. But uh, let's keep it at that. Let's keep it at that. But there it is. Huh? Yeah. It's much better. That is so much better. I love that. Okay, that's cool. Everybody has a place now. Almost everybody has a place. So now when we come through town, at the end of town is the big animal pen. The big animal pen. What is it with elephants? You can put a stake in the ground, tie a little piece of rope around them, and as long as they feel resistance, they won't move. It's weird. But that's what elephants are all about, I guess. But there we go. Yeah. Any ideas are welcome. I wanted to keep it relatively simple. It took me forever to build it. I want to say probably a good five hours to build the whole thing, but uh, maybe longer than that even. But it does serve its purpose for sure. Everybody has a place now. Uh, all of our big tames have got a place. And then if we have any extras any day down the road, we could put them out in, in the pasture there where we're going to have it. This, of course, is going to have to, I don't know, yeah, it's going to have to move. It's just way too close to here. To, to make this turn and get in here, it's a little too tight. Or I could eliminate that door altogether and we don't worry about the pasture there. We, um, we pick a different spot to do that. And I take this wall right here, uh, continue it on, and just have it... Uh, what I'm probably going to do is have it meet up over here with this wall. We'll just, uh, we'll just bring it across and have it meet up. And then make sure it's tall enough that nothing can get over the top of it. And then we should be relatively safe in here. As we saw last episode, you know, the turtles get through. But that's okay. Just the turtles. No big deal. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. And I want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.